I got the light mounted and I'm going to uh, put a switch in next to the door so that uh, even when the door is not open I can activate the ground for this light so that I can use it as a, an interior light or if the door is open and I want to turn the light off I can uh, disconnect the ground through that switch as well so it'll be a, a tool pull um, double throw dual pull switch uh, started putting in the wiring for the house lights to run off of the house battery and also uh, started wiring the uh, power to the the vent fan and I took and I ground these uh, mounting screws a little bit shorter here um, I started insulating I got the the wheel wells uh, enclosed they're insulated and they're enclosed with uh, wood I used uh, cedar fence material that I just sanded and stained I liked the grain pattern better than I did with the uh, with the pine and uh, these sides here will still have to be painted white because they're just the, that exterior plywood uh, I got the air conditioning unit installed and I wish I would have gone a, a tad higher but uh, the hole is where it is and I'm going to leave it there. Uh, I started uh, also insulating the, the roof of the van and I decided to go with uh, sheet foam insulation and uh, what I did back here was I put the foam into place and then I poked holes in there and injected expanding foam uh, to fill this this void here in between these corrugations. The roof is corrugated um, and so I wanted to be able to fill in this space here between here and here with insulation also. Uh, and uh, the injecting the foam in there worked but it was awfully messy and uh, you know time consuming if you try using that spray foam in any thicknesses at all it takes uh, a long time to cure and sometimes uh, there's large voids in there that you have to redo so what I decided to do after that was to uh, glue the sheet foam uh, cut the, the sheet foam into smaller strips for the first coat and then install them in between the, the ribs of the roof and then uh, any small gaps that, that are still there I'll use uh, expanding foam or I'll glue uh, you know another strip of this the same insulation in, into the void. I tried a, a, a couple of different adhesives and uh, what I found to work real well is uh, this uh, product put out by Loctite um, called the Power Grab. And it said that it had a, a zero second uh, uh, tack time. And so what I did is I just put a, a bead of it. Here, I'll, I'll show you, demonstrate it. I just put a, a single bead okay here we go not very much and then when I press this into place just have to push it up once and now it's holding itself in position so I'm going to continue on with filling in as many voids as I can and then if there's any uh, difference between 
the lower corrugation and the foam, I'll decide what to do with that. Either cut a thinner strip of foam and and put them on there, or maybe use uh, that uh, penetrating foam. Whatever works. Okay, this is as far as I got today. I'm running out of daylight. I had to make a run to uh, Home Depot to get some more of that uh, adhesive. So uh, that set me back a little bit. Uh, I've got uh, most of the pieces in place. I still have a few to go. And then uh, the smaller areas I'll need to cut little pieces of um, insulation to fit in there and then maybe uh, take um, a knife or whatever and then trim them so that they're the same level as this. Because right now this metal here stands a little bit proud because of the of the seam. So um, well, that's tomorrow. And I'm thinking that I may take um, this roof rack off. This roof rack has uh, screws that come through the, the, um, the top of the van and it's a possible leak source. So I'm thinking uh, I'll take this rack off because I don't use it. And I have uh, two sets of these, this style rack that I'm going to be putting up there. They're down here. Oh, there they are. And so I think I'll, I, I don't think I need this, this roof rack. So uh, I'll take, take the screws out, seal up the holes with uh, maybe roofing screws that have uh, rubber gaskets on them. And then uh, also seal it from the inside with uh, caulk or polyurethane or at, uh, construction adhesive or whatever. So tomorrow's another day.